Welcome back everybody. So somebody asked me for my perfect WrestleMania and what I took this for is any wrestler from any era in their prime. So this is my perfect WrestleMania. Now this is a two night show as WrestleManias tend to be nowadays. Now first of all, there's obviously going to be people that's left out because I mean there's only so many matches I can put on a card. I can't put 50 matches on a card. This is quite a few matches and also there's a lot of people that I leave out because of I either forgot about them because this was very difficult setting up or alternatively I'm just not big fans of them now also there's nobody pre-golden era so no Bruno San Martino no Star Blue Graham just because I didn't watch wrestling back then I know the legends of the game but I never watched it so I have no affinity to them also no Goldberg no um, Hulk Hogan and no Ultimate Warrior because I just I don't like the three of them their personal things that they've done in life not a big fan but here goes. The first match of night one is a qualifying match. It's an over-the-top rope qualifying match. So qualifying match is for something that comes later. And in this match is Daniel Bryan, John Morrison, x Buck, CM Punk, Kevin Owens, Rey Mysterio, Owen Hart, Randy Orton, Kane, Ric Flair, Roddy Piper, Roddy Piper, <laughs> Roddy Piper Eddie Guerrero, Sami Zayn, and The Miz. And who goes over here is Rick flair he's going over then women's tag match for the championships is trish stratus and mickey james going up against Shayna baszler and ronda rousey obviously this is everybody in their primes then the third match on the card men's singles match because we never saw this at mania batista versus brock lesnar no gimmick no nothing there's also quite a few gimmick matches on this show no gimmick no nothing men's tag or not tag Men's, well, it is, I guess, a tag because it's teams. Men's triple threat TLC night took a team out, but they're featuring later in the show. So we've got the Hardys, Edge and Christian, and the Usos. And, oh, by the way, um, the women's tag match, Trish and Mick is going over. The men's, Brock is going over. This match, Hardy Boys, it's got to be Hardy Boys going over for me. Next, we've got a men's hardcore triple threat match. And that's for the hardcore belt, not for the 24-7 championship. That is Mankind, Terry Funk, and Raven. And the one who's holding the strap at the end is Mankind. Next, we've got a women's championship match. And this is, the, this is one of the last matches for night one. It's Rhea Ripley versus China for the women's championship. Next match, IC Championship Intercontinental. Mr. Perfect versus Sean Mike. By the way, previous match, Rhea's going over. Mr. Perfect versus Shawn Michaels, and Shawn Michaels is going over for the IC Championship. Then the last match of night one, Undertaker versus Sting for the streak. This never happened, and this makes a lot of wrestling fans genuinely sad, and Undertaker goes over because I personally don't think the streak should have ever ended. Night two, opening match. This is a gimmick match. Men's tag team for the championship, Road Warriors versus Demolition. I think that would have been an absolute banger. Next match is the right to use their nickname. The Game versus the People's Champion. The one who loses, by the way, previous match, Road Warriors going over. Right to use the nickname, Rock versus Triple H. If the Rock wins, Triple H can no longer be the game. And if Triple H wins, the Rock can no longer be the People's Champion. Rocky going over, Triple H reverting back to the Cerebral Assassin because he's got multiple nicknames. So why not? Then... For a championship, for the men's championship, Shield, Triple Threat, and Seth freaking Rollins is going over. Next, this is what Ric Flair qualified for. It's the men's Money in the Bank champion, or Money in the Bank match. Chris Jericho, RVD, Dolph Ziggler, Razor Ramon, Kofi Kingston, Randy Savage, Bret Hart, and Ric Flair. And who goes over is Ric Flair. Long storytelling through two nights. Ric Flair, I think as a heel, he would have been brilliant with the briefcase. Then, men's US Championship. Just because I want to watch this match. Just, I want to watch this technical spectacle. I just rhymed. Kurt Angle versus William Regal. And going over is Kurt Angle. That's for the US Championship. Women's Money in the Bank. Beth Phoenix. Bull Nakano. Sensational Sherry. Alundra Blaze. Lida. Wendy Richter. Sasha Banks. And Naomi. And Lida's going over. I'm a massive Hardy Boys fan. So Team Extreme Lida. Huge Lida fan. Then, years with other team um, features. It's not a title match, but it's a tag team match. Dudley's versus the British Bulldogs. That would have been a banger, in my opinion. 
men's single match. I just want to watch the promos leading up to this. I just want to watch the build. Jake the Snake Roberts versus The Fiend. Or Bray Wyatt, whichever character of his. I would be happy with any one of his characters. For this specific one, I'd go for Bray Wyatt, his Swamp character versus Jake the Snake Roberts. And then to end night two. Oh, by the way, um, the Dudley boys are going over. Uh, Bray Wyatt's going over. And the last match, Cena working heel. He turned heel versus Stone Cold Steve Austin for the championship. Stone Cold going over. Let me know what you guys think. Until next time, peace.